Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing? Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. So we've come to the Roaches today. It's about an hour drive from where we live. It's a beautiful and again a very popular area of the Peak District. And again, it's covered in snow, so the landscape is absolutely stunning already. Yeah, so it's beautiful to look at. We're going to be doing a little circular walk, hopefully. The weather's coming in a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to this morning. Yeah. It's going to take us through a few different features, quite a few sort of myths and legends surrounding this walk. So a cool feature on top of the roaches, other than of course the view and the actual rocks, is uh, the little pond behind me which is currently frozen, or it's called Doxy Pond and uh, according to legend there's actually a mermaid inhabited in, in this little pond called Jenny Greenpea and according to legend she was walking on the roaches during foggy battle just like us and she unfortunately fell into the pond and now she's basically ruling people who are walking across the roaches so be careful. This is how quickly the weather can change in the Peak District. It's like we left the house and we got here this morning and it was like beautiful sunshine, sunrise, not a cloud in sight. And now we're just walking in sheer fog and you can't see anything, so. No wonder Jenny fell into that pond. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stay happy. So we're just about to enter another cool feature on this walk which is called the Lot's Church and there are many sort of myth and stories behind this name. Yeah, so the origin of the name, there's many different versions but the one that resonates most with us probably in the 15th century there was a group of reformist Christians who used to use the, the, the gorge there as a sort of worship spot and a place to avoid persecution. So that's where the name church perhaps comes from. And then there's another cool myth surrounding it to do with Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. It's the story of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Uh, apparently that used that was the, the Green Chapel in the story. So Sir Gawain went there and met the Green Knight and the Green Knight said to him, you can take one swing at me with your axe, but in a year's time I get to do the same to you. And so Sir Gawain took his axe and chopped the Green Knight's head right off um, in one, one sweep and then was very surprised to find that the Green Knight knelt down, picked up the, the head and said, in a year's time I get to do the same to you. <laughs> so then Sir Gawain then spent the entire year overcoming different challenges to do with his pride and chivalry. Um, and then when the Green Knight got to take his swing at him, he escaped with barely a scratch. So the moral of the story I think is that you can't be too prideful or egotistical and to be a bit more humble and modest. And yeah, cool, story. cool little story yeah. to go with the Church, it's, it's such a such a cool place because apparently the temperature is always a lot cooler no matter what season you're visiting the place and I mean today it's pretty cold so <laughs> it didn't feel much difference no. but I guess if you're coming on a summer day you will feel that yeah. the temperature drops. So we now finished our walk and we're just heading back to the car. We want to spend a bit longer on top of the roaches because the views from there are nice. We wanted to have a little stop over and have a picnic there, but unfortunately, as you can see, the weather wasn't <laughs> on our side. We had, yeah, we had such high hopes looking at the weather forecast yesterday. It said really sunshiny, beautiful morning. And then as soon as we got here, <laughs> the fog kind of just came out of nowhere. Yeah. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking this little tour of some of the myths and legends surrounding Lud's Church and the Roaches. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.